morning, then I'm, I'm glad I met you here. Please, I need you to run an important errand for me. Doctor, I am taking a cup of coffee that the MD requested to me. If you just give me a minute, I will... Let me complete the coffee run for you, please. You have to help me rush over to my apartment to help me pick a file I took home last night to carefully study. I forgot to come with it this morning. A file? Yes, a patient's medical file. Dr. Mecca and I need the information in need to carry out a delicate procedure on the patient in about an hour time. But the hospital driver can do such errands, but... I know. Come on, Edna. Do a lady like me, in my rush to get to work this morning, I left some things carelessly in my apartment that could be so embarrassing for a hospital driver who is a man to see. Please, Edna, spare me such embarrassment. I would cover up for you while you're at it. Okay, your apartment key. Don't worry, I already called my gate man, okay? The door is open. Please help me explain to Andy why... Why I am the one bringing his coffee. Of course, I mean, go, hurry up, okay? Dana, you are the one bringing the coffee. Apologies, sir. I sent your personal secretary to my house to help me get a fire I forgot at home this morning before leaving the house. Okay. I hope you don't mind I'm the one bringing the coffee. Of course I don't. We operate like one big family here. I can attest to that, sir. In my three weeks as a member of staff here, sir. And I must confess that um, I feel very much comfortable. I feel at home because of it. I'm glad to hear that. My office is open anytime you have a complaint or suggestion to make. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Let yeah. me return to my office and prepare for my ward round, which starts in a Fine. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir.
mistakenly left my stethoscope behind when I brought you coffee earlier. Your stethoscope? Yes, sir. Uh, where is it? There is there, there on the floor. Oh, okay. Sorry, we did this. You didn't break me, sir. We are adults. Thank you. For what, sir? For your maturity. Okay, you're welcome. Please. What we did is absolutely forbidden by my father in this facility. It must not be heard by another. I don't kiss and tell. Do you? No. And you've been holding my hands for over one minute now. Seems to me like you don't want me to wear my pants and leave. Uh, I, 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 God damn you! I, 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 Dr. Mecca has refused to listen to his elder brother and he has just left the hospital in anger to cool off somewhere as I predicted he would. Listen, listen to me, listen to me. I want you to leave that room with Dada immediately and intercept him. Right now, no mistakes. Please, please, okay? Alright, good, good. Down. He's too angry to even listen to me. He kept calling me names for falling for a, a conniving bitch like you. Make a call me a conniving bitch. I, I apologize for that. Um, he seemed angrier at you than at me. And that surprised me. Is there something that I do not know about you and him that could explain this? That's an unfair question to ask me, sir. Am I to take in your planning to throw me under the bus before your father and brother even? You... Come on. You're taking it out of context. Really? Okay. Tell me the right context. I'm sorry. You are right. It was an unfair question for me to ask under the circumstances. Very insensitive too. I'm sorry. I didn't blame you, Maker, for opting to go out of this facility to pull off somewhere. I would suggest we allow him to have the rest of the day to deal with his mood. Fine. I will also make some break to put my nerves together. What we did was okay as to consenting adults. But professionally, we got badly by doing it right here in your office. And we also goofed morally on the account of you being a married man with children. I totally agree with you. You can take two hours off from work 
for today. Thank you very much, sir. I'll see you on the program. And the person that hired us paid us very well. I, I, I can double it though. I, I, I can double it. Shh. Will you close your vocal cavity? Sorry. Shut your vocal cavity. Sorry, sir. Listen. We will pay Amsonly to kill you without a second thought if we have to. For your information, if you make us kill you, all your family members will be wiped out by us. Hey. Yeah. Sir, please now. Sir, please. Spare me. Eh? Exactly. Even if you do not love that life, I love my life. I love my life. For the sake of the lives of your father, your brother, his wife, and his two sons. Just keep quiet. Cooperate. And be doing whatever you are asked to do. Why in our custody? Do I make myself kill you? Yes, sir. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okochi. Yes, sir. Any movements? You're wasting. Okay, sir. I listen. No, I'm going to say this. Who are these people? What is happening to me? God, what is happening? Shut up! Who are these people? Hmm? I said, sure. Okay, sir. One more word. I'll put you on clutches for the rest of your life. Yes, we will double and we triple it. We will triple and pay whatever the person who hired you to kidnap me pay. So that. So that what? Jesus. That voice. Odala. Remove the blindfold. Odala. Odala. I can see that you're shocked. Hell has no fury compared to a woman whose passion was scorned by a man after her heart. Oh goodness. You are doing this because I turned you down. 
back on campus with Allah. For goodness sake. You tell who was and still your very close friend. She and I were in love with each other. Way before she introduced you to me as her very close friend. Why? We are still deeply in love. As a matter of fact, I proposed to her and she accepted to marry me. When she concludes her father's studies in America in seven months' time, you know about this, Udala. Adele has even chosen you to be her chief bridesmaid. Why are you doing all this? What are you up to? The same thing I was after when I desperately did all I did to take you away from Ethel in medical school. And what could that be that justifies having been kidnapped by Ann Men a few minutes after seducing my elder brother in his office? Money and affluence. The wealth and prestige of being a wife to someone in your family. That is it. And nothing more, my dear. You made the mistake of rejecting me. And you made it very clear to me that no matter what I do, you cannot give me a chance in your life. Good for you. I refuse to give up back in school. And there is no ever giving up now. Not after I did all I did to enable me to get close to your brother, Unachese. Unachese is married. And he has two sons already. Udala. I do not care. You were wrong when you accused me of seducing him. I did worse than that. I laced his coffee with sex steroid. He was such in a state when I returned in his office that all it took me was a little nudging for him to end up deep inside of me. Yes, he ate that which you have rejected over the years because of a tell. And guess what? I planned all this at the point I was ovulating. Fantastic. What do you want? To scatter his marriage and become his second wife. And you think I will allow that to happen? Huh? If I am naive to think so, you will not be here, dude. What do you want to do? Want to kill me? If you give me reason to. What if you cooperate? You'll just be a few years in the prison and a free man once again. By then, I would have achieved my plan with your brother and Achese. And I should believe you about me ever living your custody of life now or in the future. Huh? Do you have a choice? Let's get out of here, Frank. Udala, you are happiness. Udala, you are wicked. Udala, you are happiness. Udala, you are wicked. Udala, you are happiness. Do you expect me to tell him the truth? Do you ever see him cooperating if I should? Listen, nothing makes a man go extra mile than hope. And especially, hope for a venture survivor, for a man in his current situation. You're very correct. Yeah. Everything you needed for the family and their house are there. No mistakes, please. I am a professional in this stuff. I repeat, this is so important to me. I will kill or die for it. You will neither kill nor die for it. As far as I'm the one running this show for you, you will live to celebrate your success at the end of it. Thank you. 
And talking about success, I have an appointment at the fertility clinic in 30 minutes. Fertility clinic? Yes. I don't trust his brother's sperm 100%. And there is no second guessing for me here. I have to be very careful. You are very smart and meticulous. Thank you. The stakes are damn too high for me not to be. Well, I'll see you later. Your colleagues are raping my wife. Did you didn't you hear them? Please, I beg you. Please, just tell them not to do this. Please, I beg you. Please, I beg you. Please, please, just tell them not to do this. Please, I beg you. You know what? I have money. I have a lot of money in my house. I will give you a lot of it. But please, just spare my wife of this horror she's about to go through. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Please, tell them to stop now. Tell them not to do this. Please, I beg you. Please, now. It's not clear to you that you're wasting time. Is it not clear to you that you're wasting your precious time? No, stop, please, stop, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, stop, please, shh, please, now, please, please, hey, please, listen. please, listen, please, you will be a dead man if you try it, and even your death will not stop what is happening from being completed, if you must know that, before realizing it, I want to advise you, you better be wise, and stay alive so you can meet your wife and your son. Following down to your house, posing as an rubber, so he can rape your wife. What? Yes. Where is he? That I don't know. He's only a client. But I and my boss were professional assassins. We are not rapists. In fact, we hate rape so much that we decide to stand aside to watch you deal with him any way you want it. And when he's done with your wife, when he's done raping my wife? When he's done raping my wife? Okay, why didn't you people do something to stop him before the act? Now, you aided him in raping my wife. Uh, when did this is done, Tony? You're telling me to do it. Hey, calm down. You should be angry at him after what I just confessed to you. What manner of man are you? Just go inside there and avenge your wife and avenge your own one or two. Now, let's move. Fast! <laughs> Guy, <laughs> you don't enjoy finish. <laughs> Maybe enjoy pass. <laughs> Ocho baby, how dare you rape my wife? You pass. Ocho baby, Ocho, Ocho, Ocho baby. Frank, oh, Frank, 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 stop him. Frank, 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 Frank. Please, come down, please. Please, 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 please
If you have stopped me, you would not have died. Mama! Frank! Take her! Who is your mother? Why are you guys like this, eh? Why are you guys like this? Why are you guys like this? Why are you guys like this? Frank! Take her! Why are you guys like this? Please, 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 don't do this. Please, don't, 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 don't do it, please, please. Hello, doctor. Where are you? We are back. You don't need to see me. Tell me how it went first. And I'll then show up and give you your balance for the job. Why? That's the way I want to play this part of the racket. So how did it go? I don't like this. Believe me, I don't like this. But okay. Dr. Emeka is dead. Dead at the crime scene. After raping the man's wife as he wanted it. Great. Hello. But there is a little complication. It was not us that killed him as planned. How? Committed suicide? No, but we played a little game to have Dr. Oche do the killing for us instead. But it backfired and Dr. Emeka killed him in the process. His wife grabbed the gun from Emeka and killed him before we could do anything. Um, that was it. Beyond that, Everything went as planned. Except that the headline will no longer read. A doctor and robber killed by angry members of his gang for raping their victim's wife during a robbery operation. I don't have any problem with that. All I want is Dr. Mecca Wunna being found dead at the crime scene after a robbery operation. That he was a member of the gang that carried it out. And he just confirmed to me that it happened exactly that way. Yes. Um, so we are leaving this city tonight. So can we now have our... Then happened. Which of the staff is involved? And is it is it how bad is it? No workplace accident. It's about my brother Emeka, Dr. Dada. Emeka? Yes. Did he come back to the hospital after I left? I started creating an ugly scene. No. As a matter of fact, he's yet to come here or come to the house. Or make any form of contact with my father and I. Or even to someone known to us. Till now. God, where could he be? And what is he up to? I don't know. I'm very worried for him. I worry even more for my dad. Your dad? Yes. Is he back from the village? He's back. He came to the hospital to pick something when the call came in. A call from who? From the police. The police? Yes. They said he's about a maker. But they refuse to provide details about him until they get here. My father is worried and has been asking a lot of questions since the court came in. He feels something dangerous must have happened because of the way the police officer that called sounded. Dr. Dana, you know my father is hypertensive. That is why I called you. 
in case if something happens, so that you'll be around. And you'll be here till the police get here. God forbid. It will not be bad news. Mm. But sound decision by you all the same. So where is he now? He's inside in his office. Can we go? Sure. He's even aware that I called you. It's all right. Receptionist called that they are here earlier and I permitted her to allow them in. Come in, please. Good evening, Dr. Dr. Muna. Oh. And please, this is 3 a, already 3 a.m. It's good morning, I guess. My bad. Good morning, Dr. Muna. Thank you. My first son, Dr. Odala, my staff. It's good to hear. I am Inspector Dada. And right here with me is Corporal Onwoha. We are both detectives from the armed robbery and homicide investigation department of the Nigerian police. Armed robbery and homicide. And you tell me that you want to see me in respect of my son, Dr. Emeka? You heard me. Is he alive? Was he robbed by Arabas? Is he alive? Your son was not robbed. Rather, he was a member of an armed robbery gang that robbed an innocent family. Young man, watch your mouth! Watch your mouth! Take it easy, please. Watch what you say about my son! The doctor is not done yet, so please listen to me. Dr. Emeka Umuna, your son, raped the wife of their victim what? during the robbery. And the situation got out of hand. After the rape, he shot the man dead. What? The wife managed somehow to snatch Dr. Maker's pistol from him. In her fury, shot him dead on the spot. What? The other members of the gang, after them, ran away. <laughs> and the police are actually sworn into action right now as we speak. Doctor, you Doctor, you Chelo and other spiritualists I went to see today all say that a strange lady in the parlors is my nemesis and that of my daughter as well. That means only one thing. That our lives will be turned upside down by her. Or that everything I did to secure our place in the each year. Dr. Omano Douglas, while the family would be brought to book and crashing down our heads by her. God forbid. I repeat, God forbid. Who is she? Emeka's biological daughter? No, that's not possible. That cannot be possible. Emeka was too faithful to a tell for such. Yes, I tried all I could to seduce him and failed miserably. He was too straight all his life for any such thing. Besides, no woman ever came up with a pregnancy claimed for him since he died, and nobody in his family or among his friends ever spoke of such being the case at any point in time in his life. Meta never got pregnant for him either. That rose him out completely. My husband? Could it be him? Could it be he was involved in some kind of unserious Sexual contact with another woman which resulted in pregnancy and the woman kept it from him all those years? Or could it be that the woman Emeka was forced to rape that night got pregnant for him and the product was the girl in the parlors? No. No. 
that's too wild of the park to be even distantly possible. Yes, if she has anything to do with the family biologically, she is most likely to be my husband's bastard or that of his father. Yes! Why am I not thinking about him? Dr. Woman now. Him. Whatever be the case. Jello. And so said that I should use my discretions to deal with the threat she clearly poses to the future, my daughter and I, if I choose to. Yes, if I choose to. And I am going to. For some sense to reason against Njideka and I. Njideka will handle that. She has to become part of whatever I do henceforth to get rid of the girl. And she is desperate enough to become the prince bride. To be a dependable partner to me in this. I will also launch a serious search for who the girl really is, while at the same time doing whatever is necessary to lure her out of the kingdom and get rid of her for good. Yes, I will. And I must. Your Highness. What is it? I'm sorry, I left my room. No, it's fine, you know. You don't need to be sorry. As long as you did that in a company of a normal, within the days your menstrual flow will last. Mama knows what to do to make sure you don't have physical contact with my father and I. Same thing I told you earlier. I told you. Oh, you did? Yes, Your Highness, I did. But just as you noticed, she's still nervous. Ah, you don't need to be nervous. You're a guest, a royal guest for that matter, and not our prisoner. Okay, royal guests in a chicken kingdom are meant to be treated with everything good. As a matter of fact, if anyone that maltreats a guest of a chicken kingdom will and cure the wrath of the gods. Thank you, Your Highness. You're welcome. So... Greetings, Your Highness. How are you? Greetings. How are you? I'm good. My father's going to be back home. And I decided to come over to see if you're not comfortable with my honor and presence in this palace, I can just... No, you. no, no, she's not supposed to leave. You're welcome. Anytime, in the palace of the Jacob Kingdom. Thank you. You're welcome. The stranger? The one who made you about your mission in the jungle, right? No, she did not make me about my mission did that out of my own will. And the gods haven't said anything about it. Yes, my father told me so. I have no problem with it. My heart goes out to the young lady. Only God knows how she feels to be alive with no memory. I feel peace for her as well. It must be difficult for her. I want to speak to you privately. Alright. You can go.
this is a private realization spot for His Majesty and I. Only guests we hold in high esteem are allowed to come around here. Let's come have a seat. You can have a seat. Wow. Honestly, Your Highness, I feel so honored that you find me worthy to be brought here, even though we're not formally. Uh, Angelica, you know, you said you want us to talk about something, you know, which I don't know, so. Um, <clears throat> Your Highness, I don't know how you would take this. I want to move into the palace. It's a plea, please. Move into the palace? Why? I'm your wife to be, Your Highness, and I feel... Well, well the gods have not uh, announced that. Or oh, have they? Your Highness, the gods are only beating their time until the nation knew by me. My father has no brother. I'm his only biological daughter. My stepbrothers, they have no daughters yet. My family's name was mentioned as one from which your bride will come from. So technically, I'm already. <laughs> well, like you said, we just have to allow the gods, you know, do their own bidding. Because their ways are different from ours. The gods are wise. Okay? And if you must know, patience is the principal virtue of a queen. So I must advise that you have to be patient till the gods call you by your name. I know, I know this, Your Highness. But I am not asking to move into the palace because of our future relationship as man and wife. I'm doing this out of compassion. I don't understand. Patience is a principal virtue of a queen. So also is compassion. Am I wrong? I still don't understand. The stranger you came back with, it's an added burden to this palace, whichever way you look at it. Your limits to what you and your highness can do for her. A memory problem makes her even more. A measure flow is going to stop. After the tragic passing away of Her Majesty Norma's mother and the sacking of all the female staffs in this palace, Norma already has a lot on her hand. Please, Your Highness, let me be that extra hand to take care of things. Allow me to complement the compassionate work you have started for her and with her. This is impressive. Thank you. Ah, uh, Your Highness, is that a yes? Well, I have to speak to my father first to confirm that. But my traveling won't be. Educate, get the gate. You see, Pansy. Were you expecting him? No. Greetings, Inigo. Greetings, Isiga. Greetings, Lola. Greetings. Greetings, favor of the gods. Greetings. His Royal Majesty, Igwe Udebe, Agbari Igwe the 18th of Ichiko Kingdom, 
sent me to inform you that he has given his royal seal of approval to your request, Njideko. Ah! You mean that I can now move into the palace? Today, if possible. Yes! Yes, I'm ready! I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! Go back to the palace, we are coming, uh, because we are coming with what? The, 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 the flower girls and uh, Mommy! Mommy! Don't, don't, don't worry, 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 I don't know. Born of a great mother. Sounds like a possession of some sort. from the mother's womb. Possession that we are not aware of. And an abandon. Here comes Judeka. Judeka? The chosen bride of Ichekutino. That sounds like her mother's voice. Queen and more. A queen of all queens of Ichekutino kingdom. Let's jump back. Let's jump back one more room, okay? Let's jump back one more room, okay? Much harm! Much harm to your husband's house. Here comes Judeka. Una Cheze, Omona, born of a great family, chosen by the gods for this, the only chosen queen, the latest queen of Ichaku Kingdom. What's the meaning of if I slap you, stop that nonsense? Why, why, what, what, what is that? Huh? What, 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 why are you literally in the palace? What, 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 what's the meaning of this nonsense? Huh? What do you call this? Greetings, your highness. Greetings, his majesty. Don't keep your greetings to yourself. What's the meaning of this nonsense? Um, please. Sorry we took you on a words. It's nothing, just a proud mother trying to add colors to her daughter's special day and moment. We, 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 we meant nothing. Is it she or not she is aware of this? Yes, Your Majesty. The Enyi Budu of Ucheko Kingdom is aware of this and he allowed you to go ahead with it. Is he not aware that this type of procession into the palace is only organized for a royal bride who is formally moving into the palace for the traditional two weeks familiarization precedes her formal wedding to a prince? Is he not aware of it? My husband and I are aware of it. You and your husband are aware of that and you went ahead to do that. How dare you, doctor? But His Highness, please help me to beg His Majesty. We're not trying to... If you know what is good for you, get out of this palace immediately! You mean all of us? If your mother and these lunatics are not out of this palace this minute, you will join them and never return again. Norma. Yes, Your Highness. Take her inside. Right away, Your Highness. And change to something more appropriate. Hey, you! Why are you standing there moping at me? Come and help me to my room. Go get my luggage. And no, you will do it yourself. Nobody's doing anything for you. Hey, come here. What was the brief when you were sent to Njideka's place? I'm sorry, I... I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry.
sorry, I'm sorry. Get out of my presence immediately. Immediately, I was about to leave the room. She woke up to ease herself. I had to wait for her to return and sleep again before I sneaked her. I don't understand. Norma is sleeping in the same room with you? It's not the prince. I don't even understand what he's doing. He ordered Norma to sleep in the guest room so he can give extra company to the stranger. And he told me if I'm not comfortable, I can leave. Can you just imagine the humiliation I have to go through in this palace? That's strange. But why would the prince do that when they're about 10 other empty rooms in the royal mansion? This is what my mother also asked me when I spoke to her on the phone. She said I should just remain calm, that the prince might be testing me. Nsika, do you think this is a test? Yes, I think so. But are you really sure Norma had slept before you left the room? Okay, my feet. Are you sure it's complete? Remember what my mother told you when we had you in my father's company. This is a long term partnership. Who cheats such a partner? Okay. Let me know anytime you need my help to carry out anything. Good night. Um, apologies for the slap of this game. The affairs of this palace and our people take precedence over everything at all times. Everyone in this palace knows that, including in Norma. I do not believe she will call me back from a social function if it's not important. I took time to explain this to you because I don't want it to repeat itself again. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Norma, what is it? Your Highness, she is totally clear right now. 